have to have a deep inner why as to why you want to do this business. Saying that you want to make a million pounds in your business is great, it's fantastic, such a big goal and I love it. But how can you chunk it down? How, like what actual steps are you gonna take? Start small, but do it little and often. And that way, you're really gonna install a healthy business habit into your everyday routine. Welcome to The Handmade Bosses Show. I'm Steph, and my mission is to help you start, run, and scale an online handmade business and build a creative life you love. So, bosses, let's help you get your amazing products out there and get the sales you deserve. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to The Handmade Bosses Show. So, today, I thought that I would really talk about the elephant in the room. Why is it that some handmade businesses thrive and some fail? We're gonna be talking about some things that I have found working with hundreds of handmade business owners and the things that I see the most of. So, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're listening on the podcast, leave us a review because I would love to hear from you guys. So the first thing that does differentiate between those handmade businesses that thrive and those that fail are setting big goals, okay? Which sounds really like wishy-washy and you're probably like, Steph, oh, I get it. But here's the thing is that I have a dream board literally always. If you've ever been in my Facebook group and watched one of my lives, which if you don't know, the Facebook group link will be around this somewhere you know that I always have big goals on the go. In fact, I even write my goals down every single day. Now, studies have shown that if you write your goals down, you're like 40% more likely to achieve it. And also, if you don't even have a goal in the first place, and how on earth do you know where you're going? You don't, right? You absolutely don't. So setting a big goal is really what does make or break a business. And the second part of this is chunking that goal down. If your goal is to make a thousand pounds a month on Etsy, reverse engineer that, okay? Chunk it down. Tell me exactly what steps you need to take to make that money every month, okay? And that is the main difference between businesses that fail and those that don't. But we're gonna be going into some more little tips now. The second thing is to take that big goal and chunk it down into monthly and quarterly goals. Now, every quarter, which if you don't know, is like four, four times a year, three months of the year is separated into quarters, okay? It sounds like a big business term, but really it's just a way of saying January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's essentially what it is, right? So don't be scared of any terms like that, right? But the fact of it is, is that if you're not chunking down that goal into monthly and quarterly things that you need to do, let's be honest, it's always gonna stay that big pie in the sky goal that you never ever take action on because you don't know how to take action on it. Saying that you wanna make a million pound in your business is great, it's fantastic, such a big goal and I love it. But how can you chunk it down? How, like what actual steps are you gonna take? And if you're sat there saying, well Steph, I'm just gonna make more sales, stupid. Well, okay, yeah, how? Like how are you gonna make more sales? What are you going to do? This is something that we do talk about in depth in the Handmade Bosses Success Academy. The link to learn more about that will be around this episode somewhere. But the fact of it is, guys, is that if you're not chunking down your goals, you will never achieve them. Even if you affirm the living year <laughs> out of it, it's not gonna happen if you're not taking action. The third thing is making small but positive change. So I don't know if you have read the book Atomic Habits, but it is a book that I love. And I personally um, love to keep it nearby because I do pick it up most days, to be honest with you. But here's the main takeaway from that book is that you have to make a little changes every day. Now, building a habit doesn't have to just be stop eating junk food, stop drinking soda, go to the gym five times a week. It doesn't have to just be that. You can have healthy business habits as well. Now, that could be like reading for 10 minutes every day. It could be meditating for 10 minutes every day. Or it could even be working on one listing that you have that's not performing well every day. So the first step of this is to not be like, I'm going to do 10 listings 
tiniest things a day and really overwork yourself, right? Start small, but do it little and often. And that way, you're really gonna install a healthy business habit into your everyday routine. And I really think that healthy business habits is something that we need to talk about more on The Handmade Bosses Show, right? Leave me a comment somewhere or send me a DM if you agree, right? But I just think that, honestly, a business doesn't just come about overnight, okay? It has to it has to have compounding little things that you're doing every day, every week, every month, every quarter, right? That you're doing to achieve that goal. So I know that a lot a lot of people watching this have probably changed their goals several times, but you need to make sure that the goal you have is a motive, right? It really makes you excited, fuzzy, and butterfly <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Has to be something that you think of and go, yes, I would love to achieve that. Which kind of neatly leads me on to my next point, is that honestly, businesses that thrive, and it's a common theme that I have seen working with, again, hundreds of handmade business owners, probably thousands at this point, to be honest, is that you have to have a deep inner why as to why you want to do this business. It is no good because let's be honest, we all want to make more money. Like that's not a deep inner why. If you're sat there saying, well, I want to I want to make print because I want to make more money. Like you might as well just quit now, boss, really, because it's not going to get you through those tough times. Just wanting to make more money is not going to get you through those tough times. Making organic poor balm for dogs because you you really want to do good in the world of animal health and you know maybe you volunteer at an animal rescue center shelter whatever and you want to do good in the world you want to really help animals with their dry paws that is a deep inner why and that is going to keep you going when things aren't going your way because boss business is like this okay you are going to be up and you are going to be down but not having a deep inner why is really, like, honestly, I can't get this across to you enough. And even if you're sat there going, well, Steph, I don't know my inner why. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just drawn to it. Well, if you're drawn to it and your gut is telling you to do it, chances are you have that why, but you're just not consciously aware of it yet. We have been having some great conversations so far on today's episode, but I've got something even more special for you. You know what it takes to be shown on page one on Etsy, right? Yep, you guessed it, increasing your conversion rate. My three-step framework to skyrocket your Etsy conversion rate is my signature free masterclass. And boss, I'm saving a spot for you. Learn how to increase your conversion rate in three easy steps, as well as the top three mistakes I see Etsy shops make on a daily basis. Sign up in the show notes or head to handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion. That's handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion to claim your spot. Now let's get back to the episode and I can't wait to see you there, boss. So really journal it out, do a brainstorm, do whatever you have to do to find your inner why. And it could honestly shock you. It really could honestly shock you. You could just be sat there one day watching TV and it just pops into your head. You're like, oh, I had this issue as a kid with eczema and that's why I want to make healthy organic body creams, right? It can just pop into your head. I would advise like going back to your past and seeing when you started to do this thing that you make. It might give you some clues, but you really do honestly, and I know that you're going to be tempted to skip this step, but I beg you not to because in five years time, I know that the people watching this that have a deeper why are still going to be in business and the people watching this that don't are not going to be in business. Okay, so please, please, please find a deeper why behind your business. The last thing is again something that is a common theme, and I've put my hands on the arms of my chair because are you ready for this one? Right? It's how you react to negativity and change in your business. Now, I am one of those people that you I believe that you cannot control what happens to you. Good, bad damn right ugly, you can't control any of it, right? But the fact of it is, is that you can only control how you react to it. So say Etsy makes a new change, right? (laughs) This is going to hit different for a lot of you. And the immediate thing that all you guys want to do is to go on the Etsy Facebook groups, go on the forum and let them have it, like tell them what you think. But 
boss, I'm going to be honest, and you might hate me for saying this, and if you do, that's fine. Moaning and just being negative about that change isn't going to get you towards your goal. Yes, sound off, but sound off to a journal, sound off to something that's not going to make a difference in your subconscious and in your mind and in your business, okay? Because you better believe it if you're saying, my Etsy shop's gonna gonna go downhill now. My Etsy shop's gonna fail. It's gonna fail. It's gonna fail. It's gonna. Fail. You're gonna speak your you, you know your dreams into reality. It's gonna happen, right? So if you're sat there typing out, my Etsy shop is slow. Um, I'm gonna be out of business. You're gonna be out of business, and your sh- and your shop is gonna be slow, right? I wholeheartedly believe that. So just another little side thing is that before you post anything in any Facebook group, whether it's mine or someone else's, really, really, really think twice about what you are putting out there okay and I really think that the best way to combat this um, is to whenever there is a negative thing coming out of it whenever like Etsy makes a change or something happens with your business tax or something goes wrong or your website crashes and just think of two things that you have learned from this experience and I actually have a folder in my Google Drive which is just titled lessons and if I'm having a particular a particularly bad day I will go in and write the date and I will like literally just brainstorm all of the lessons that I have learned from that day right so have two things that you have learned from it so let's say for example um your business tax bill was higher than you thought it was and you're like oh my god what am I going to do two things that you've learned from it well do your taxes every couple of months so you have a running idea of what your tax bill will be and two start putting money aside for your tax bill every single month okay just this process alone is going to start to reframe things for you because the fact of it is boss is that if you are reacting badly to negativity and hate online and change and anything bad that happens within your business and life you're you're just going to stay stuck in the mud and the mud is just going to suck you in suck you in suck you in until you end up just this like really kind of negative nelly person that quite frankly you're not going to succeed at anything and i say this all with love because I really obviously I'm passionate and it's my life's work to turn your passion into profit online through a handmade online creative business but the thing is guys is it how you react to things is everything it's literally everything and I just really want to leave you with that to think about so bosses I really hope that you enjoyed this episode of the handmade bosses show if you're watching on YouTube please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment and if you're listening on the podcast please leave us a review because I would love to hear from you boss and also if you're ready for more Etsy sales and you're like yes Steph let's do this I want your help send me a DM on Instagram at handmade bosses because I would love to hear from you but guys I will catch you all very very soon bye everyone we really hope you enjoyed today's episode don't forget to check the show notes for some more helpful links and also a link to our website as well also you can watch the video version of this over on our youtube channel don't forget to get your free spot on our masterclass the three-step framework to skyrocket your etsy conversion rate at handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion that's handmadebosses.com forward slash conversion we would also love it if you could leave us a review on itunes as it really helps us to reach more bosses in need subscribe to the show and we will see you on the next episode